Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are decorating an apartment and this apartment is located in San Michuno. I don't know the exact neighborhood, but it is called the 930 Medina Studios. You can see the address in the upper left corner of the screen or you can also find it in the description box. It's also written down there. And yeah, so this apartment here is for let me see, wait, there are one, two, three, four, five, okay, <laughs> five bedrooms. So it is for five sims and I thought it, that they are going to be students so that it's some kind of like student apartment and I really like that idea. So yeah, they are all roommates and just share this big apartment with each other. I think I included four bathrooms and one of them even has some laundry machines in it. And yeah, so it is actually like some people might think it's quite big for students, <laughs> but in Germany it's quite common that you just share an apartment with other people and because it's just way cheaper like that, because you can just rent one room and you can split the rent and everything and it's just way, way cheaper. Uh, so that's quite common and it's also quite common to have this kind of thing like here, I guess, like that you have your own bedroom and like personalized space and that you have a kitchen and living dining area maybe it's a little bit like too big to be normal but like i don't know i think it makes sense and i kind of like that and i think i would have loved to live here during my <laughs> university time like i think it's a very fun and nicely decorated apartment so yeah it is for five sims as already said but you can also have more sims living here like i think eight or nine sims i know it's not it's technically not possible to have nine sims in your game it's uh, i think it's only eight but with some mods you can have more than eight sims living here but i think like you you don't need that <laughs> i just thought that there were five sims living here but since i gave each one of them a double bed and most of them aren't accessible from both sides so therefore you can have more sims here or maybe just some sims staying over for the night <laughs> something like that so yeah uh, but we are starting off with the kitchen here and let me tell you i absolutely adore this kitchen <laughs> it's one of my most favorite kitchens i've done and it is very detailed and cluttered and yeah, so I really try to have this whole like university vibe in this house, in this apartment. So it's really like the stereotypical university student life, I would say. Like at least what we do in Germany. Like, I don't know, I guess it's probably different in the US or like whatever. But here, like, therefore I placed down a bar and placed down some juice items. And yeah, I thought that would be kind of fun. And... Yeah, so I, I, I just, I, I, I like this kitchen. <laughs> I'm using the kitchen from the Dream Home Decorator pack and those shelves, like those normal shelves, they are base game, but those uh, rectangle, rectangular, no, square, square ones, they are from the Dream Home Decorator pack and I think it looks so cool if you just combine it with the Dream Home Decorator cabinets or just with any cabinets in general and you can place items in them and like, I, I kind of like the vibe of it. So I really enjoyed that. And yeah, so I, I placed some juice in that. And on top of those cabinets here, you can see those picture frames. They are from the Cool Kitchen stuff pack. They, they some kind of shelf came with the cool, cool Kitchen stuff pack. I never really used that shelf, or I think it's more like a wall decoration. It's not really functional as a shelf. Um, but there are some pictures on top of it, and I just decided to like place the shelf inside of the like cabinets here <laughs> and yeah that's what I did so if you are wondering where those uh, pictures came from they are from the cool kitchen stuff bag and I absolutely adored adding those post-its and the postcards here to the cabinets because it's just I don't know I thought it might be something where the people who live here like told each other something and just wrote down something and or maybe it's like a shopping list and maybe some kind of recipes and here on the side you can see this board from parenthood and i decided to add it that like some kind of schedule for them like who's going to clean the apartment at what time like what week and the bathroom and like who's going to do this and that and i kind of like that idea because i think it's something very useful if you're living with other people together because like 
usually that doesn't work out like there's always <laughs> I think there's always like one person or two persons who like end up cleaning everything and some people don't do anything I think that's quite common at least I remember that from my uh, university life that there were always argue arguments about that kind of stuff um, so I thought it would be kind of nice to have something like this here and yeah also, here I'm decorating the living area. <laughs> Not living, it's a dining area. What am I saying? The dining area. And I don't know why, but I really like the vibe of the whole room here. <laughs> I think the dining area just fits very nicely together with the kitchen. And yeah, I'm using those chairs, which are from uh, City Living. And those bookshelves on the back, they are base game, I think. I believe I, they, they should be. <laughs> and I just thought it would be kind of fun. Like maybe there were multiple students living here and they just like changed over time so like if one of the students were finished with their whole university stuff they just moved out and then a new student came in and you know the drill that's how it works usually at least here in Germany <laughs> and yeah I thought that maybe some of them left their old like university books here and stu study books and like because they don't need it anymore and they just thought okay maybe somebody else can use them and so they have a whole collection of like all those university books and student books and like like study books that's maybe how you would say it yeah you know those kinds of books you could need for university <laughs> yeah uh, but now i'm doing the living area and i really wanted to use those couches because they look kind of old and like a little bit used and i thought they will be pretty nice here but however the colors didn't really fit so i will i will change them I, I think I'm going to use the and uh, not not industrial loft kit. Wait, uh, how are they called? The ones from uh, Eco Lifestyle. Yes, from Eco Lifestyle. I thought I'm just going to use them. Um, so they they fit better in my opinion. Also, I really like that yellow TV stand I've added there. I thought it would kind of fit with the kitchen together, and I, I like that. <laughs> so yeah. Also, you may see me placing various plants around the whole apartment, and that's because I'm just I'm, I'm obsessed with plants. Like in The Sims, in real life, I also adore plants, but I can't really keep them alive. They they keep dying. So uh, yeah, I'm not the best plant mom. Uh, but yeah, here in this apartment, I just placed on so many plants because I just... I, also, I, I am sorry for overusing this hanging plant from the um, Blooming Rooms kit, but it, it is so beautiful and I, I will overuse it in every single build that I'm doing. I'm sorry for that. Like, I don't think there is even the need to apologize for that because that plant is just gorgeous and it just fits everywhere and I absolutely adore it, so I'm, I'm using it quite often. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but one of the students, like I gave each, each one of them some kind of personality type or like a major they're doing. And I thought one of them studies biology and therefore I thought they might be also very into plants or at least that's the kind of character trait I gave them. <laughs> that they are very much into plants and everything. So they probably take care of all of the plants in the apartment, which is quite a lot because in their room I also placed a couple of plants. Um, but I thought they will just like spend their time and like, uh, yeah, take, take care of all the plants. I thought it's kind of their, what, what they like to do. So therefore there are so many plants in this apartment, like, yeah, but it's okay. With that idea in your mind, it kind of works, I think. <laughs> yeah, so here I'm just cluttering up that little shelving unit here. Not shelving, it's a bookshelf. The bookshelf here which is from the Moschino stuff pack and now I'm just adding a picture here on the wall and yeah then we should go on to the first bedroom. I won't uh, show, oh no we are doing the bathroom first, the laundry room actually yeah. Uh, I did not include me decorating the hallway basically because the video was already so long <laughs> and I didn't felt like, I don't know, it's just a normal simple hall hallway. If you want to see how it looks, you can check it out in the screenshots, you will see it there. Um, also in the screenshots, there is a whole overview from the apartment, like with, where you can see the floor plan if you're interested in that, because I think the floor plan kind of works that I chose here, it's okay. The hallway is quite big, but other than that, I think it's okay. Um, yeah. But here is the laundry room, number one. Yeah, there's only one laundry room. I don't know why I said number one. Like, <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> here is a laundry room. And I also included a toilet and a sink here, just 
so that you have an additional toilet, some kind of half bath maybe. And yeah, there are three other bathrooms and all of them do have, I think uh, all of them do have either a shower top combo or one of them even, even has a shower and a bathtub. So you should be fine. <laughs> I hope your sims don't have any problems with running into each other in the bathroom. Um, yeah, I will show, I think, one more bathroom on camera. The rest I did not record because you probably don't want to see me decorate four bathrooms, which all look pretty much the same. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we are starting off with the first bedroom. So you might have guessed it. It's for somebody who studies art <laughs> or at least something related to art or they are just really into art and they study something totally different or they just maybe they are just an artist and live here because maybe they're like a struggling like like a struggling artist who doesn't have that much money yet and that's why they live together with other people here that could be that could be also a reason <laughs> but i thought that they were going to be in like university and study something about art that's at least what i thought but like you can just totally make up your mind and do whatever you want but yeah so i placed down a lot of art supplies here so you can see the um, easel i placed down and next to it there's this little i don't know how you would call that it's a little like hmm, cabinet <laughs> tray i don't have no idea how to call this thing but you know where you can place where, where the brushes and the paint is on yeah it's from base game and i think it's a very nice looking object <laughs> and behind it i placed down those canvas which are also base game and yeah i just really like how everything turned out and i did struggle a bit to find a wallpaper which fits because i didn't want it to keep it white or like just plain white um, but I ended up changing it up to this paranormal one. You can see that on the side there <laughs> with those leaves and everything. It's from the paranormal stuff pack and I think it looks kind of cool here. I, I like that. Yeah. So above the bed, I'm adding those shelves, which are from Snowy Escape. And I, I don't really use them that much, but I should do that because the detail, the texture on them is, is incredible. <laughs> I really do like the, the texture there, so I should use them more often, especially because they are a little bit wider than the normal shelves that I'm using. So I could place so much stuff on top of them would, without even having to size them down and everything. So yeah, that was kind of fun. And also I could place those pictures on top of the shelves. <laughs> like those pictures, they are very, I, I think they look very beautiful, uh, but you cannot really place them on shelves because you need to size them down and i believe that there's a very weird looking shadow if you size them down so yeah but i was very happy that i could use them here i i really did enjoy that <laughs> yeah so now i'm just cluttering that up a little bit more i thought in those art like in those boxes there they would be storing some kind of art maybe I think I thought that would be kind of fun. <laughs> here I'm stri try I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to find what to place here in that area, but I decided to give them an armchair here, this one, which is from Cottage Living and is I think it looks super cozy. <laughs> yeah. So and everything is a little bit more on the green and blue color scheme thingy here. So yeah. Also some posters on the wall just for the details <laughs> and of course another hanging plant like I know there are twice like the, the same item is twice in the room I'm sorry about that it's just gorgeous so here is the next bedroom and this one is a little bit more it's smaller I, I admit it but you can like I just thought about it now but you can definitely have a whole family living in this whole house here as well <laughs> you can just redecorate some of the rooms and just i don't know turn it into a kid's bedroom or an office or maybe a gym i don't know something like that you can totally do that i i did not even thought about saying that i don't know but like do whatever you want with this apartment <laughs> um yeah so this one is very much in the blue style like i was very much inspired by this bed which is from Oh, wait, it might be cats and dogs, but I think I'm wrong with that. Oh my god, I, I don't know. Oh yes, yes, I think it's cats and dogs because it has those similar like color swatches like the couch from that pack. 
at least I think so. <laughs> yeah, but I was inspired by the color here to decorate the whole room a little bit more on the blue side. And yeah, I thought the sim here maybe study his business or maybe they are like a journalist or gaming, something like that where they just maybe need a computer and nothing really else. <laughs> that was my whole thought about it. But they also do have some, like they have a TV there and a little aquarium because I thought it kind of fit because it's blue and I like that. <laughs> also those pictures above the little TV stand here, which is also a dresser. The pictures there, I thought they will they would like fit very nicely there and they are from the movie hangout stuff pack so here i'm decorating this little shelving unit here that i created um it took me some time until i figured out what i what what i want to place here uh, because i wasn't really that happy with how it looked but i will turn like i think i'm going to delete the plant there and i will also change up the picture on the wall there but yeah, I, I like how it turned out. So I'm adding a couple of like those boxes here and yeah, just stacking them on top of each other. Also, by the way, if you don't know this red shelf here, I, I thought maybe I can talk about that now <laughs> because I already said what's going on the, in this room here. <laughs> uh, but this is the red shelf, which is a super useful item in The Sims. Uh, you can uh, basically place it on the wall and you can... Okay, wait, I should start that sentence again. <laughs> you can, it's it's very nice to place items on a like preferred height and you can just do that very precisely because you can raise up items with the nine key and lower them with the zero key. At least that's how it is in German keyboards. I think it can also be with the bracket keys. No, you size up and down items with the bracket keys. Huh. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you can, I think you can elevate them with the nine key. So yeah, <laughs> and with the red shelf, you can do that more precisely. And it's a custom content item, but you will delete, like when you use it, you, you are able to delete it afterwards. So um, therefore it doesn't count as custom content because you don't upload it with that red shelf. So that's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, um, so it's always linked in my description box, by the way. Under every single video, I always link the red shelf and also the tool mod because I use both of them very much. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, uh, we are coming to my most favorite room. And this is the bedroom. And uh, this is the bedroom. What? What is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is the bedroom for the student who is studying biology. And yeah, as you like, I don't know if you've been watching some of my videos more regu regu regularly, you know that I can't pronounce this word. <laughs> and also that I did study biology myself a little bit. Like I didn't finish that one, but I did study that for I think like three years and I really enjoyed it. So um, I absolutely enjoy this room here. It's yeah, I would love to live here, but the problem is I wouldn't be able to take care of the plants. <laughs> That's the only downside to that. And also, I didn't really study it that much biology side with like plants and animals. It was more about just uh, human biology. So, yeah, but, but I, I like plants and this room is by far my most favorite one. <laughs> yeah, so there's just a bed and just a lot of plants and a dresser and I think I'm also going to include a little working area where you can have your computer. So yeah, everything your sim needs, I think. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of plans and I was very happy about the whole um, blooming rooms kit here. So yeah, also I, I've placed down this, um, I believe they are avocados, like which you can like I forgot the word for that, but you know this little item we got from the Blooming Rooms kit where you can like grow your own plants in it, like you can't really grow them, but it looks like something, like something's grow growing there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god. I, I'm really bad at explaining stuff. I'm sorry about this, but you know me, that's, that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> yeah, uh, but this was the bedroom for somebody who's really into plants. So next room here <laughs> this one is for somebody who maybe studies music 
or is a music producer, something like that. And I kept it more in the industrial kind of vibe, color scheme, <laughs> like not too much, but I did include some items which are definitely looking like industrial. <laughs> so for example, this closet here, it's from the industrial loft kit and also this painting on the wall is from that pack as well. And everything is very brown in here, but I really do like that. I think I think it's a nice room. <laughs> and also we have a Bob King Pam Bob blah. Okay. Talking. We have a Bob pancakes here and I think I think he looks very very nice there and the red kind of fits. And I thought maybe maybe Bob Pancake is a very much known musician. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe he changed his uh, his job and now is a famous good good guitarist. How do you say that? Guitar player. <laughs> I think that's the word. Yeah. And also some pictures above the bed. I thought they were maybe like singers or bands or just music producers in general. And yeah. So here is the music producing station and also those uh, I think it's I think it counts as a stereo those boxes there which are from the Moschino stuff pack they look like this thing you have when you're playing like electric guitar like a, like an electric guitar you have those things where the noise comes out you know <laughs> yeah or volume noise kind of sounds negative but I did play it, guitar myself I did played uh, for a couple of years actually electric guitar myself um, but I, I like I was pretty good at it, but I kind of stopped doing that and now now these are only like a decorational object here in my room anymore. but well, <laughs> yeah, so this is the last room, the last bedroom. Uh, it's for somebody who studied sports. So yeah, that's that's their profession. At least that's what I thought and wanted to do <laughs> and yeah I think it turned out very nice and also they were they are really into animals so I gave them a little hamster there just because I like hamsters kinda I think they look cute like I, I have never I, I don't think I've ever like have I seen a hamster in real life <laughs> I'm just thinking about it now because I think none of my friends ever had a hamster and I've all I, I'm not quite sure if I've ever seen one of those, but on pictures they look cute. So, yeah. <laughs> also, one thing I wanted to say um, about my shell challenge, I am processing, like at the moment, I'm going through all of the different entries. It's taking some time because there are like almost 200 entries. So it's it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, <laughs> but I am at the moment going through all the entries and I hope I can have this video up at the end of the week. I don't promise anything, but that's what I'm hoping for. So just uh, in case you are waiting for that. So I'm going to do a video on that and I will just, um, yeah, show my most favorite builds in that video. That's what I'm going to do, I think. So yeah, because I did tour some of them on Twitch already and like, yeah. So anyways, we are almost finished with that room as well. Oh. This voiceover is also pretty long. I'm sorry if I'm like, I don't know, maybe repeating myself or anything, but uh, talking for half an hour in English, which is not my native language, by the way. Um, but I'm sure you've noticed that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I also gave them this trophy thing there and some posters which are sport related. And I think that should be it. Oh no, I'm adding, I'm adding this calendar here on the... Um, how's that? On the dresser, on the dresser, oh my god, okay. I feel like the talking is already getting to my head. <laughs> but now I am doing the bathroom here, okay. And I, this is my most favorite bathroom here from the whole apartment. I think it turned out very nice because it's very detailed and you can really like, I don't know, I, I like it, so yeah. <laughs> Um, but the bathroom here is the last room that we are decorating actually. So I'm going to wrap up this voiceover because I'm out of words. Like I've been talking for, for some minutes now and 
my next video is definitely going to be a shorter one, I think, because all of my voiceovers has been so long and like at one point I don't I know anymore what to talk about. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out and that would be really much appreciated. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. I upload speedballs here on my channel if you are wondering what I do here I, I upload speed builds <laughs> and you can also follow me on twitch if you want to because I stream two times a week on twitch at 9 p.m CET each Wednesday and Sunday but I'm planning to stream on Fridays as well in the future but we will see oh now I'm already at the f at the screenshots yeah well but I will keep talking now so you can download the apartment from my gallery, my ID is Sunny Simsy YT, and you can also find the tray files on my Patreon, which is also linked in the description box. So thank you so so much for watching, and I hope I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.